when you look at this house, you don't know whether this house is actually a triangle in plan. It doesn't feel like it is an angular plan because rooms are not triangular. The used spaces do not feel like they are at an angle. It's obviously when you see the boundary wall, you see there is a displacement in terms of angle. It is not unique because we wanted it to be unique. It is unique because client desired it to be unique and the client itself has unique ideas. So this house is located in DLF phase one. Typically, Gurgaon is now filled with a lot of developer apartments, so everybody tend to make a stilt and four floors. The entire design philosophy actually stems out of the attitude of the client towards this house. It's a nuclear family. Uh, there are parents, there are two kids, young kids and their father. So it's a family of five in total. They wanted a house which feels like a home. It's something which is comfortable to live in and not something they want to show and host parties in. Yet, they want privacy. They don't want the kids to be on the road. Everything from the material choices to the colors, everything, they want it to be robust, not something which is a pain to maintain. The bedroom requirement was just four bedrooms, which is actually two kids, the father's room, a guest room, and their master bedroom. So we had this plot of land and we were thinking how to figure out a relationship between the inside and the outside. Also, another thing which they said, that's for their fantasy, was to live in a sloping roof house. So they wanted the sloping roof, they wanted the skylight. That is something which they had shown us some reference images. That's, that's the kind of house they like. And we said, why do we always divide a plot orthogonally? Why couldn't we divide the entire thing diagonally? Basically, this became the design where this entire thing was your garden. And then this, we put a sloping roof, sloping down here and here. This is their southwest facade. Kitchen, in terms of zoning, comes here. And the entire house is connected to the kitchen through this central family space and all your bedrooms come, come here in living room. We sort of made a boundary wall as per and the gates as per this tree, so we didn't let this tree die at all or during the construction. So the idea always has been to think of materials which are the end finishes from the beginnings. So we thought of concrete as a main material, but the concrete, gray concrete was looking too morose, too not residential enough. Uh, we did experiment with a lot of colors and then we zeroed in on red. Everybody liked red. And I think from day one, uh, our idea was red. It was giving the best aesthetic and it was popping the entire thing. And so some of it is gray concrete, some of it is red concrete. It is not a structural concrete, it is a concrete over a brick wall, but it is casted on site, everything. So these kind of small, small detailing makes the house experience richer and richer, even for the client. The entry of the house, it's not very grand. It's an introverted house. It's some, something which is meant only for the residents. So you enter through a very small lobby and you have a corridor and then on the right of the corridor is your formal living room which has a sliding door which mostly always remains shut. You are entering this house from a very sort of a narrow alley kind of a situation. So even your lobby is not very grand. So the grandness of the house is not meant for somebody who is a guest. The grandness is meant for the family. And, and that's why you, when you enter through this four feet corridor, but the end of the corridor is this huge, grand, almost more than 20 feet family living, where house actually comes together in, in this space. 
द फैमिली रूम इज विच हैज़ द लार्जेस्ट व्यू इट इट हैज़ अ वेरी लार्ज ऑलमोस्ट द एंटायर एक्सपैंस ऑफ द गार्डन हैज फुल्ली हैज अ फुल ग्लास स्लाइडिंग सो दैट यू कैन कम्प्लीटली इंजॉय द गार्डन वैल यू सिटिंग इन साइड यू हैव अ परगोला आउट साइड विच इज लाइक अ वेरेंडा वेर यू कैन सिट वेन देर इज रेन्स यू कैन इंजॉय योर गार्डन your kitchen is at a visual from everywhere you can you can visually see your kitchen and then you said why not take the triangle which which anyways is what the house is and create something interesting so we did do this sort of a triangular wooden counter which is becomes the breakfast counter when we were designing the staircase we realized what if we think of them as as these large uh, concrete steps and the rest of the steps can be filled in the idea is that the the scale of those large steps goes with the scale of the space another unique and interesting feature which we've done for the first time in this house is the slide which was completely again a complete client's requirement they said that they want a slide in the house from day one uh, they had the idea and the slide is really not meant for the kids it's meant for everybody in the house and everybody does use it is what i've come to know where should we put the slide we had this sort of an atrium for the ventilation of the central space we wanted the cross ventilation so we needed the atrium in this corner uh, so we thought that we could have a slide which sort of starts from inside but actually is completely an outside slide and then it sort of you come in so when you go up to the first floor uh, you enter into the tv lounge which is the only place where there is a television the kids mostly use that place to watch television and from there you can look down further down the corridor are on the left hand side are the kids room and and on the end of the corridor on the right hand side is the master bedroom the kids room was always meant to be one giant room the kid bedroom was a very long room which was thought of one large room with two toilets one was here one was here and it is just divided right now with a with a partition so they have two rooms two entrances but it's actually designed as one large space the major light comes from the skylights even in the master bedroom when you go it has two heights within the master bedroom so the bedroom is at a lower height and outside the bedroom you get a much larger space where there is a skylight though the room size is not very big but the volume is substantial so it doesn't feel even if the footprint is the small the room doesn't feel very small It's pretty interesting from the master bedroom that slit window you just see the tree the top line of the tree so you always see the green from there so when you're looking out you don't see the neighbor house because it's not wide enough to capture the entire uh, scenario outside it is only wide enough to capture the greens outside and skylight is from where you're getting the major amount of light whenever we design we don't design for rating but we design for comfort and if you design for comfort it is automatically designed as per uh, environment so your south facade has minimal windows most of the windows are facing north or northeast so that automatically reduces the heat gain you have a huge thermal mass because of concrete so the heat gain it's actually insulating the entire house and the most unique and important feature is that we have radiant heating and cooling which is actually reducing the air conditioning load of this house to around 25 to 30% less the idea of this house is actually simply this that's the idea and i think that is where the beginning of the interesting idea happened everything after this follows this progression and follows that line of thought architecture is never one person's work jaini i would mention a name she really 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 worked very hard and a lot of inputs Uh, it's a collaborative process clients which we always forget is a very very important uh, aspect of all the designs they have to be in on all your ideation once you take the client into confidence we've never faced any problem in convincing them about absolutely unique and different ideas it is all buildable 